Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Electric pickup trucks are coming. It's an inevitability whether we want them or not. There is a number of automakers, from the big boys in Detroit to a bunch of small startups that are working on EV pickup trucks right now. And I wanna talk about all of them. So in this video, we're gonna look around the industry and talk about which electric trucks are coming, what they're gonna offer, and then maybe most importantly, when will they arrive? Because as of today, there are no electric pickup trucks actually for sale in North America, but that's gonna change soon. Exactly how soon? Well, we'll get to that right now. Let's start off by looking at the big established manufacturers and there's none bigger in the world of pickup trucks than Ford. So Ford has announced that an all electric F-150 is coming. And more recently, they announced a $700 million investment into the Rouge truck plant in Dearborn, Michigan, where the new electric F-150 is going to be built. Details on the all electric F-150 are pretty scarce right now. We do know that it's going to have a dual motor setup. We know that it's gonna be the quickest, most powerful F-150 ever. And we also know that there's gonna be a massive front trunk or a frunk for storing things in the front of your F-150 because hey, if you don't need an engine up there, you might as well use that space for storage. The only thing Ford has shown us is this, the all electric F-150 prototype. There was also the marketing stunt where it pulled like a million pound train or something. Really all that proved was that the bearings on the train were good. However, it's exciting to see that Ford is working full steam ahead on this all electric truck. So what about timing on the electric F-150? Well, Ford's official statement says that the electric F-150 will arrive soon after the hybrid model. Now the hybrid model just went on sale, so hopefully that means we will see the all electric F-150 sometime in 2021. And then my guess is that it will be on sale in late 21 or early 2022, but we'll have to uh, stay tuned to find out the exact details. Moving on from Ford, we go across Detroit to Chevrolet, and General Motors has already been putting a lot of time and energy and money into all electric pickup trucks. So before we get to the GMC Hummer, let's talk Chevy. Just recently at an investor's meeting or an investor's Zoom call actually, um, there was an all electric Chevy pickup truck kind of shrouded in shadows in the background of the conference call. Now there are no details whatsoever on Chevy's all electric truck. However, GMC has fully revealed the Hummer EV. This is one of the few all electric trucks we have all the information on right now, including when it's coming. So let's start to break it down. Revealed fully in October of 2020, the Hummer EV promises epic off-road performance, up to 350 miles of range, and 1,000 horsepower in the most expensive Tri-Motor Edition 1 model, and that's gonna sell for $112,000 US. This Hummer looks like a total monster. We're talking about 35 inch tires, air suspension, full underbody armor, four wheel steering, including a crab mode. It seems as though this electric pickup truck is probably going to be the most off-road focused of the bunch. And that makes total sense. When you put the name Hummer on something, it better be good off-road. Now on this truck, we have a hard commitment on the timing. So GM says the first units will be available by fall of 2021, but there is a catch. At first, only the expensive Edition 1 models will be available, with the more affordable trims coming online one by one after that. You can see the timing here, but the full rollout of the four trim lineup will take until 2024. So if you're looking for a slightly less expensive Hummer EV, you're going to be waiting a while. Based on that announcement, if the Hummer actually arrives in fall of 2021, it has a good chance of being the first of these all electric pickup trucks to actually be in people's driveways. But now let's keep going down the list and we'll talk about timing on the other models. 
What is going on over at the last of the big three, Ram? Well, Ram has said the least about an all electric pickup truck. Basically, their executives are quoted as saying, if there is demand for an EV Ram, we will build it. But nothing has been confirmed yet. So it appears like Ram is taking a wait and see approach. They've stepped back and they're just saying, let's let them go hard on EVs. And uh, if they're successful, we'll probably get into it too. So for now, no concrete plans from Ram about an electric truck. So that is it for the Detroit 3, but what about the other two big Japanese pickup truck manufacturers? Well, first, let's talk Toyota. Toyota will not confirm that an all-electric Tundra is coming, but basically has already confirmed that a hybrid Tundra is coming. We don't know the details for sure, but when the next-gen Tundra launches in 2021, we expect it to have a hybrid powertrain. So Toyota and hybrids and electrification, they all go really well together, but it remains to be seen whether or not we will get an all-electric truck from Toyota. And then we have Nissan. So like Toyota, Nissan's future in electric trucks is sort of unclear. Now, recent news reports say that Nissan has been talking with Hercules Electric Vehicles, another Detroit-based startup, to possibly build some electric trucks together. But what I find interesting is that Earlier this year, Nissan announced that the Titan was being pulled out of the Canadian market. And we all kind of expect that eventually the Titan is going to be leaving the US too. I don't think there's going to be a next generation Titan. So then the question becomes, if they build an electric pickup, what is it? Is it just the current Titan? If you want some speculation from me, and it's pure speculation, we know that a new Frontier is coming. Maybe Nissan could be the first brand to release an all-electric mid-size pickup. All of these EV pickup trucks are pretty big. Nissan could be the first one to think small. Again, pure speculation on my part, but I would love to see an all-electric Frontier release with the new Frontier. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below if you think an EV Frontier could be a good move for Nissan too. And now we get to easily what is the most famous electric truck, the Tesla Cybertruck. With a design like that, of course the Cybertruck stands out, and when it was first revealed, this thing made a massive splash online. Tesla is promising some pretty big performance too, including 500 miles of range, a 14,000 pound towing capacity, and a zero to 60 sprint in under three seconds. This truck is also built from cold roll stainless steel. So what you're looking at is actually the frame of the vehicle. Think of it like an exoskeleton. It definitely makes the Cybertruck unique. Now I don't think, and again, this is personal speculation, I don't think the Cybertruck is gonna come to market looking just like this. There's probably gonna be some design changes before we see the real vehicle. I would consider this more of a concept, but hey, maybe Elon will prove me wrong. So we gotta wait and see exactly what the Cybertruck will look like. Tesla says that the Cybertruck will be available in late 2021, but just like the Hummer, there's a catch. At first, only the most expensive tri-motor model will be available, selling for a price of $69,900 US. Dual motor all-wheel drive versions are slated to arrive shortly afterwards with a price tag of $49,900, while the most affordable Cybertruck that will sell for $39,900 won't arrive until late 2022. One advantage to the Cybertruck I think has to be mentioned is the supercharger network. None of these other EV trucks are gonna have the infrastructure to support them like the Cybertruck is. So if you do buy one of these Teslas, you know that there's already a huge network of chargers out there. Rivian is a brand new company looking to take a big share of the electric pickup market with its R1T. The R1T is gonna come with a base price of $67,500, packing 300 miles of range, though an upgraded battery pack that brings range up to 400 miles will be available shortly after the vehicle launches. Towing capacity for the Rivian is pegged at 11,000 pounds, while zero to 60 time is a flat three seconds, and this truck will actually pack four electric motors, the first one on the list that will actually use one motor per wheel. 
Now the Rivian R1T made a pretty big splash on its own when it launched, but I think people really started taking Rivian seriously when Ford decided to invest in them. Ford partnered up with Rivian to use their skateboard electric chassis for its future electric vehicles. How about timing on the Rivian? Well, the brand says that the first deliveries of the R1T will take place in January of 2022, which means that it's just a couple months behind the Tesla Cybertruck and the GMC Hummer. Next, we have to talk about Nikola and the Nikola Badger, and this story is interesting. First, let's look at the truck. So the Nikola Badger is an all-electric pickup, but it's the first on this list to offer an alternative fuel source hydrogen. Two models of the Badger will be available, the straight electric version offering 300 miles of range or the fuel cell hydrogen version offering an additional 300 miles of range for a total of 600 miles on a full charge and a full tank. Like the rest of these trucks, the Badger offers insanely quick 0-60 to 60 times, huge horsepower numbers with peak horsepower coming in at 906, and a starting price of $60,000, though the fuel cell version will sell for 80 grand. Talking timing on the Badger is when this story starts to get interesting. So in September of 2020, General Motors and Nikola announced a partnership that would see GM building the Badger for Nikola using its GM Altium battery technology. Just days after the partnership went public, Nikola's now former CEO Trevor Milton was accused of lying about the company's capabilities and engineering by a Nikola short seller. Now Milton denied the claims, but since then he has stepped down from the company. The latest word from GM execs is that the partnership is moving ahead, but both companies have until December the 3rd to decide whether to move ahead or terminate the partnership. So we will be keeping a close eye on whether or not Nikola and General Motors will be doing business together. Now, of course, we get back to the question, when will the Badger arrive? Well, it's totally dependent on how this deal goes down. Next, we have another startup looking to make a name for itself in electric pickup trucks, Lordstown Motors. This is the Lordstown Motors Endurance, and it really has one aspect to it that is very different from the rest of these trucks. It uses in-wheel electric motors. Now, Lordstown says this reduces moving parts and should reduce maintenance over time. Of course, the drawbacks are that you're increasing unsprung weight, and then you're also just putting that electric motor through a lot of stress. It's gonna be taking a beating out there in that wheel. So it's an interesting strategy, and it's gonna be very interesting to test one of these trucks and see how the in-wheel setup kind of differs from the onboard electric motor setup that everyone else is going to use. Range for the Endurance is pegged at 250 miles and the starting price is $52,500. Timing for the Endurance is very similar to the other trucks on this list, with production slated to begin in late 2021. Next, we move on to Bollinger Motors. Now, this company first revealed its electric pickup truck all the way back in 2017, so we've been talking about Bollinger for a couple of years now. This all-electric truck is really a back-to-basics work machine focused on capability over all else. Some of the cool features include a pass-through storage from nose to tail so you can haul lumber totally enclosed in your truck. There's also portal axles on this thing and air suspension which should make it an off-road beast. Range is a little lower than the rest of the trucks here though, coming in at 200 miles and pricing according to Bollinger is going to start at $125,000. Timing on the Bollinger is unknown because Bollinger is still basically looking for someone to build the truck. Since the beginning, Bollinger has said they wanted an experienced industry company to manufacture these trucks for them. And sadly, it looks like they haven't found it yet. So maybe we'll see a Bollinger electric truck in the near future, but it's hard to say on timing until they find someone to build it for them. Now, Bollinger hasn't just been sitting around though. They recently released an all electric van plus an all electric chassis that you could build with basically any vehicle on. So they are expanding their portfolio and I'm sure hoping that soon they will have a deal to start up production. 
And finally, we get to the Atlas XT. Now, this truck was announced in the fall of 2020, and it seems to be taking more aim at the heavy-duty truck segment. The Atlas XT is making some pretty big claims. The first one is that it will be able to charge from 0 to 100% in just 50 minutes. And for reference, most electric vehicles today will do 80% of the range back in about 20 minutes. So 15 minutes for a full charge would be pretty much unprecedented. Now the other thing Atlas is saying is there's going to be a 300, 400, and 500 mile version of its truck. Now at the base end, there'll be a short wheelbase version of this truck good for 300 miles, and that's going to cost $45,000, while the fifth wheel prep truck capable of towing up to 35,000 pounds will go for about $85,000. So there is a big range in these Atlas trucks. And yes, you did hear me right, fifth wheel. This is the first one of these trucks to mention a fifth wheel or a gooseneck. And like I said off the beginning, this truck looks to be taking aim at the HD segment. There's even a dually available and conventional towing stops at 17,000 pounds. More concrete details on the Atlas XT are expected in the beginning of 2021, and the brand has announced that, you guessed it, this truck will be on sale by late 2021. Well, everybody, that is it for this video. Now, if you were paying attention, you will already know that late 2021 is going to be an exciting time for electric pickups. I can't wait for all these things to hit the market. I can't wait to get out there and test them and really start to feel the differences in all of these EV pickup trucks. And of course, the second we get our hands on any electric pickups, we're gonna bring it straight to you guys. So thanks for watching. Please go below right now, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of electric pickup trucks in general, and then let me know which one of these you would spend your hard-earned money on. As always, while you're down below, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hey, hit that join button and become a member of the channel right now, and hit that like button. It goes a long way. We really appreciate it. And then don't forget, come right back here to Truck King to see what we are testing next. See ya.